Carpal tunnel syndrome is a problem of compression of the median nerve in the wrist. The median nerve is a nerve that provides sensation to the thumb, index, middle, and part of the ring finger, and also supplies the powerful muscles to the thumb that let you do things like pinching and grasping. What happens in carpal tunnel syndrome is the pressure in this tight space builds up to the point that it uh, compromises the function of the nerve, and people get numbness, tingling, and pain in the fingers, and eventually uh, people get weakness in the muscles of the thumb. Often these symptoms are aggravated by certain positions of the wrist, such as bending the wrist, repetitive activities with the wrist. In severe cases that have been present for a long time, weakness occurs in the hand, specifically in the muscles of the thumb. And people will often tell me, I am dropping objects, I'm more clumsy with my hand, and I don't, I don't quite have the grip or the pinch that I used to have. Initially, uh, in mild cases or when uh, symptoms have not been present for a long time, Carpal tunnel syndrome often responds to easy measures, namely resting wrist support, which will keep the wrist in a more extended position and avoid pinching the nerve. Also, cortisone injections can be quite helpful. Cortisone is injected directly into the wrist in that tight space in the carpal tunnel, and it will shrink the lining of the tendons and other structures around the nerve, giving the nerve more room. In about 75% of cases that have been present for less than a year with mild symptoms, this will provide good relief. Surgery is recommended when symptoms do not improve despite these simple conservative treatments or in severe cases. In carpal tunnel syndrome, the nerve which is compressed is bound by a very tight ligament over the wrist. So we simply make a small incision over the wrist and release this tight ligament, allowing the nerve room to breathe. A few simple stitches are placed in the hand and a bulky dressing and patients are allowed to go home and start activities later that day. Recovery after carpal tunnel release is fairly simple. I tell patients not to do any heavy lifting more than about five pounds for the first four to six weeks as things are healing. After six weeks, there are essentially no restrictions and patients are back to full use of the hand and upper extremity. Physical therapy is rarely needed for this uh, condition postoperatively, but a small subset of patients will develop a little bit of stiffness or weakness in the fingers and wrists. And for those subset of patients, it's useful to see a hand therapist. In terms of uh, relief of preoperative symptoms, it's very gratifying to me to see patients improve um, fairly quickly after surgery. When symptoms are not very severe and haven't been present for a long time, patients will often tell me that they have their first good night of sleep the first night of surgery as they're not woken up by numbness and tingling in the hand.